नेक्स्ट विद चार वर्ण ऑफ राज्यसभा इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्लास रूम आई टोल्ड कंसिडर लोकसभा सेपरेट क्लास एंड राज्यसभा इज अनदर क्लास रूम ओके नाउ यू आर गोइंग टू नेक्स्ट क्लास रूम ओके दैट इज द चेयरमैन सो हु इज दिस चेयरमैन ऑफ राज्यसभा जस्ट द नेम आई टोल नो प्रिजाइडिंग ऑफिसर्स मींस इटसेल्फ क्लास लीडर्स ओनली क्लास लीडर्स नेम इन लोकसभा इज नोन एज स्पीकर क्लास लीडर्स नेम इन राज्यसभा इज नोन एज द चेयरमैन ओके द फंक्शंस आर सेम ओनली ओके So only the main thing with this chairman is who is the chairman of Rajya Sabha means the vice president of India. Vice president of India is the ex officio chairman of Rajya Sabha. So who is the vice president now? It is Venkaiah Naidu. Okay, so he is the chairman of Rajya Sabha. Who who is the vice president of India at that time? They will be the chairman of Rajya Sabha. Okay, that is very clear and. so you can have one, one you can add one point here so i told when to, when talking about the speaker the speaker is one among the member of parliament but here it is not okay because the vice president is not a member of parliament he is not a member of rajya sabha but he is the chairman of rajya sabha that is the difference between the speaker and the chairman speaker is a part or he is a member of the parliament but the chairman of rajya sabha is not a member of parliament because chairman of rajya sabha is a vice president of india so how can he he be a member of the parliament okay so that is the main important thing with uh, chairman of rajya sabha the functions okay you take the functions and powers of chairman rajya sabha and see it is same with speaker only what i have told about the functions it is same for rajya sabha Ra rajya sabha chairman also now we will see the difference what are the difference between both difference between the speaker and uh, chairman of rajya sabha in what points they are varying that we will see now okay the first variation is i told speaker will decide whether a bill is money bill or not it is speaker of lok sabha but the chairman of rajya sabha will not decide he is not having that power speaker of Raj lok sabha is, ha is only having that power okay second difference is the speaker of lok sabha is having the power to head the joint sitting not the chairman of rajya sabha chairman of rajya sabha don't head the joint sitting that is the second difference and the important difference is ha have the first point in mind he is not a member of rajya sabha the chairman is not a member of rajya sabha that is important difference the next important difference is when the removal uh, when, when the removal resolution i told no when speaker of lok sabha he can be removed by resolution okay uh, normally what happens is the speaker of lok sabha i told he can't vote in the first instance in case of a tie he will vote but what happens is when the resolution for removing the speaker of lok sabha now 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 i am talking about the speaker of lok sabha not the chairman okay only one point with reference to the speaker of lok sabha i told speaker of lok sabha can be removed by resolution okay when the resolution is in progress the uh, speaker of lok sabha can't head can't head the parliament he will not be the class leader of the classroom when the removal is under process he will not head the parliament he will just present in the parliament he will come to the parliament he will come come and sit in the parliament he will take part in the debates and what happens is he will vote he can vote that okay normally he will not vote in first instance he can vote in the case of tie only but when the removal of his his own post is under process he will not he, he can't vote in the case of tie instead he will vote in the first instance itself okay that's with speaker the difference with chairman is when the resolution of chairman is under process he is not entitled to vote itself he can't vote itself but with speaker when the resolution is under progress the speaker can vote but the chairman of rajya sabha when the resolution of resolution to remove the chairman is under process he can't be removed another one important point i told chairman is the vice president of india so to remove a chairman of rajya sabha first you should remove the vice president of india when vice president of india is removed only then the chairman of rajya sabha will get removed because both are same only okay so when the vice president vice president of india's resolution to remove is under process the chairman of rajya sabha can't vote otherwise he can vote in the case of tie same with the speaker only the, the exact difference is here only when the removal of resolution of speaker is in progress he can vote okay but chairman when resolution is under process he can't vote okay that is the main difference ah uh, chairman is removed only when he is removed from the vice president's post when he is leaving that vice president's post only he will remove he can be removed from the chairman of rajya sabha's post okay that is also another difference next coming to the deputy chairman deputy chairman of rajya sabha same only he is a vice he is assistant when chairman of rajya sabha is not present because he is a vice president okay vice president means uh, he will go to some foreign countries he will meet some leaders there will be some official work for vice presidents so when chairman of rajya sabha is not present your deputy chairman of rajya sabha will head the 
parliament another important point is when your uh, this when your deputy chairman of rajya sabha is performing the uh, post of this chairman he will have the he will get the salary of the chairman what is the chairman salary he will get the chairman salary okay that is the important point for deputies speaker deputy deputy chairman of rajya sabha okay when chairman is absent he will head that okay so next with the panel of vice chairperson of rajya sabha you all know panel means a group okay what i told panel of chairperson for lok sabha the same with rajya sabha that for lok sabha the speaker will nominate for rajya sabha the chairman will nominate okay what is the function of this group when chairman is absent deputy uh, the your uh, deputy chairman is there to head when deputy chairman is also not present means one of the members from the uh, from the panel will head the rajya sabha okay that is the main function next with the secretariat of parliament okay so parliament means two lok sabha and rajya sabha both the lok sabha and rajya sabha will have their separate secretariat a secretariat is there for lok sabha and secretariat is there for rajya sabha you would have seen when in news and all in lok sabha tv and all you would have uh, seen okay speaker will be sitting in the in a in a, in a stage and uh, there will be inverted u table inverted u table and there will be many staffs and typewriters and, and some official work will be going they are known as the secretarial staff of the parliament next the uh, we all know mp should be uh, sitting okay that staffs are known as the secretarial staff of the respective parliament okay they are uh, they are recruited by the parliament only parliament is having the authority to recruit them uh, there is uh, there is uh, called secretary general okay he is important respective secretary general for lok sabha and uh, respective secretary general for rajya sabha they are nominated by for lok sabha it is by the speaker okay in, in short presiding officers will select the secretary secretary general it is a one, one time upsc has asked a question secretary general of the respective parliament is chosen by whom okay it is by the presiding officer not the president okay in upsc they asked it is president that is a wrong statement it is not by the president it is by the presiding officers of respective respective parliament okay so that is with the secretary trait of parliament next we will see about the leaders of the house